You guys have been hopelessly looking for some graphics and trying to get your game to look like perfection instead of looking like Roblox. But today we're going to show you guys how to get your graphics looking a little bit better. If you've got a bad PC or a good PC, it doesn't really matter, but you do need a couple of things, okay? Some things are paid, and unfortunately, that is just the way the cookie crumbles around here. If you want something good, it is usually paid, and if you're getting the free stuff, it's usually bad. Not all things are bad, but in this case, you need paid stuff. So we're going to go through exactly what you need to get like into it i guess so you're gonna need three things okay and if you don't use these three things you're not gonna get good graphics all right so the first thing you're gonna need is ac reel which is a paid pp filter mm, it sounds a bit weird saying pp but yeah you need ac reel all right these are the best in the business at what they do i'm not gonna lie i have tried so many different ones and i cannot find the best and i always end up rooting back to ac reel um so and then number two you're gonna need uh uh, it's called x4 fab uh, the guy who made the custom shader patch you're gonna need this because it has the latest update and all the custom shader patches and stuff like that make your game look pretty and then you're gonna need pure okay um, i think in total it is around a couple pounds uh give or take um but yeah you're gonna need um ac real okay you're gonna need x4 fab custom shader patch and then you're gonna need pure after that I'm going to show you everything we do to make the game look good and set it up and just kind of explain a little bit what you guys need to do. All right. So first things first, let's get onto the desktop and uh, and kind of show you what's going on. All right. OK, so I want to try and make this as quick and easy as it possibly is. So what you are going to do first is make sure you download all the stuff in the description down below from AC Reel to the custom shader patch and the pure once you've downloaded all that you need to do it in a certain order okay first things first open up concept manager if you haven't already go to your downloads folder which will be in your x file explorer download and the easiest way to install a custom shader patch is literally drag and drop the raw file into concept manager okay i'll say x4 fab blah 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 uh, custom shader patch whatever it says uh, which is here lights patch drag and drop that inside there once you've done that it'll say up here right hand side it'll say install and update in whichever it is make sure you press ok or install i can't remember which one it is but once you've done that to double check it's installed go about and updates and on the right hand side here available versions it will be in gray and it'll be installed okay once you've done that that is it for this particular moment close that down head back to your downloads folder and find your pure once you've got pure you then need to find where your directory is for the game so i i just recommend opening steam right click a set of course and manage browse local files it'll take you straight to a set of courses file directory once you've done that you're gonna need winrar so make sure you have winrar downloaded i'll leave a link in the description down below where to download it from what you're gonna do is find where the download is for pure it will just say pure have some description we will try and find it in my downloads um, i have too many things in my downloads folder we need to delete most of these but give me a second i will try and find it uh we did i did see it maybe if i just press p aha so it won't look like this it'll look like a raw file what you guys need to do uh make sure i move you over here what you guys need to do is make sure it looks like this and then you click inside it click again don't worry about anything else don't click anything don't press anything don't drag anything don't touch anything all you gotta do is highlight these four here okay description json game or something apps content uh, extensions and systems once you've got all of that copy that and grab it all over to your assetto course or directory don't do anything else and when it says replace files and destination click yes and then you're good with pure and then you need to find ac realism which is going to be again down in the description down below download their latest stuff and then what you guys need to do is extract it and do the same deal okay make sure it looks like this go inside here and it says a set of courses so you don't want to drag a set of course inside there you need to kind of like have it so it's the same kind of names inside here look you see extensions extensions yeah content system i like these three and drag and drop them into there what i'm going to do for you guys is i'm going to leave a link for all my graphic settings and if your pc has problems playing it what i recommend doing is heading over to the video settings under a set of courses like here and just turning down some of these from maximum down to minimum or medium 
uh, depending on your PC specs. Make sure your custom resolution is set to your actual monitor. Mine is native 4K because we play it on a big TV screen. At the minute we're on um, ultra wide, so that's why we have blur top and bottom because this is a 34 inch ultra wide. It's a bit of a weird custom ratio and it doesn't really fit on most platforms. So once you've done all that, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below for all my video settings. Um, because uh, we, we currently have a uh, custom one on right now. Uh, I was trying things out yesterday, but I'm going to leave a link for everything you guys need, all right? Uh, basically, all these settings will be in this link. All you got to do is click it and apply and save. The recommendation is, though, guys, make sure you have a backup of your current settings in case anything goes Pete Tong. What you guys need to do is save preset here and then just call it YS giant uh, uh settings okay i'm gonna delete um none of these i'm gonna delete that uh okay we'll call it ys underscore giant settings and these are the ones that i'm gonna share with you guys okay so press save um make sure you save them because if you don't save your existing files and we install new ones and they break you'll be like why is giant you broke my pc which i never did i just said do a backup okay so once you've done that we're now safe to load into a game um now i'm gonna tell you right this second okay i set my servers uh for boosted uk in a way that so um they all look good all right for my time of day my settings so let me just load into a server we'll load in a one that's quiet with nobody in okay but once you load into the game uh the first things you're going to want to do is obviously import your current settings um i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is show you how to import them so you get your mouse hover the right hand side and look for a uh, pure config all right and it looks like this what you guys need to do is import and it's going to be ys giant settings i would assume um I import wise giant settings and then what you want to do once you've done that is minimize this give me a sec i've got a phone call so once you've imported the settings then you need to head over to uh post processing filters this is called pp um what you guys need to select is ac real 24. i have it set like this set exposure set to 62 for some reason and then that is that um when you've imported these settings you do need to import them um and then press load once you've loaded it should uh look something around like this but it says here sound settings are wrong so we're going to try and fix that make sure so it fixed something if it if something is wrong then it will fix it make sure you press fix okay but all these settings should look like this um i'll put it over here uh my recommendation is i'll just scroll through and just double check make sure they look the same usually it's just light and pp settings uh these are what i have enabled and selected if you need to slow it down just slow it down i'll pause the video if just make sure but i have sent you uh, in the in the description down below everything you need um to make your game look exactly like this okay um it, it's free uh the settings um but you do need to be in their patreons all right um everything else it should work as it is but as you can see in first person i think it looks the most realistic i've ever seen like look at it i've never seen a game look so realistic to be honest. Oi. The windscreen needs a wash. Other than that, it's pretty good. Guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this helpful. If you need any help whatsoever, join the Discord link in the description down below if you want to join the Boosted UK servers. Uh, open a ticket if you need help with graphics. Datrius from AC Realism will point in the right direction to their Discord and help you out and yeah if i can help you out install anything if you miss anything if the link doesn't work let me know in the comments down below also don't forget to hit subscribe and like the video uh comment down below what you think of the graphics if they're good bad i'm open to suggestions let me know if anything's wrong off right wrong i don't know i don't really mind anyway guys i will see you on the next one peace out